A wormhole is an extreme distortion of the fabric of the universe. similar to a black hole and would only really be visible through the light near its edges becoming warped. Wormholes are interesting. We have the theory and mathematics behind them, somewhat solved already thanks to Einstein and relativity wormholes, connect space-time to itself, resulting in a shortcut that joins separate points in space and even time to one another. Black holes, wormholes and time dilation all concepts of general relativity that Christopher Nolan wrote into his 2014 film Interstellar in a manner we had never seen before, while many loved its groundbreaking scientific take on the dangers of intense time dilation as his group of astronauts in search of a new home for humanity found themselves losing years in minutes. There were certainly elements of the film, and it's the ending that seemed strange towering waves sweeping around planets black holes that you can enter and use to reach across time and space using gravitational forces interstellar at times felt like it strayed from science into science fiction but what is science and what is fiction what did the film get right where did it take artistic license and diverge from our current scientific knowledge can you really use a black hole to communicate ideas across space and time. In this video, we will explore the numerous scientific phenomena of this film Interstellar that underpin wormholes and black holes and discover the realities of what happens when you bend space-time to its extreme. For those of you who need a reminder, let's begin with a quick plot recap. In the film, a disease referred to as the blight takes hold of crops on Earth and starts killing them, causing a population collapse and technological decay as humanity focuses on farming instead of spacefaring. A former NASA pilot named Cooper finds himself at a hidden NASA base where they are working on plans to save humanity. Hope has arrived in the form of a wormhole, a tunnel through space-time that they have detected near the orbit of Saturn half a century ago which is thought to lead to potentially habitable planets. In the film, they show the wormhole not as a cliché portal, but through distortions of stars near Saturn. So here, we have our first piece of science to evaluate. This portrayal of a wormhole makes sense, Ill. The film uses a classic analogy for this showing a pencil piercing a shortcut through a piece of paper representing space-time. Sadly though, although we have the theory, we don't actually have the means to make them, even if they can be made at all, there are a couple of problems with wormholes to begin with their creation. The scientific advisor for the film, Kip Thorne, released a few physics papers after the film to discuss the scientific advancements they made in its production in a paper titled, Visualizing Interstellar's Wormhole. He notes that it is difficult to create a wormhole out of nothing, as it would require the existence of backwards time travel. You see, once the two ends of a wormhole were linked, they would stay linked. Then, if you could time dilate one end for another by moving it very quickly, causing it to move slower in time than the other end, you could enter the end further along in time and emerge at the point further back in time. Thus, entering your own past, you could then, for instance, grab yourself and stop yourself from entering the first portal in the first place, creating a paradox where you both enter and do not enter the portal, breaking reality and also my brain. There are lots of mathematical arguments that advocate against this sort of thing, such as Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture. Simply put it, states that the laws of physics would prevent wormholes, these closed, time-like curves, from appearing in the first place. Admittedly, this hasn't been proven and relies on a bit of an appeal to common sense. Loops can't exist because we would struggle to imagine how they can exist. This is a problem we return to later in the film. However, the time travel aspect isn't the only problem with wormholes traveling through them is theoretically tricky too. You see, if a wormhole were to be created in the throat of the wormhole, 
would soon pinch off and the shortcut through space-time would be sealed due to gravity forcing it to close in on itself so the moment Cooper tried to enter the wormhole. It would instantly end his mission before it started, which would make for a boring film. To make a wormhole persist long enough that people can travel through it, we would have to use a mathematical hack. We pretend as if some exotic matter exists which has negative mass. This negative mass would then have to be placed at the throat so that it can create opposing curvature which would counteract the tendency of the wormhole to close, keeping it open in perpetuity. You might be thinking that this sounds made up and you'd be right. We have never found negative mass and have no idea how to make it, so this seems like a mere mathematical curiosity. So while wormholes are allowed for, in scientific fact, actually traveling through one is so far just science fiction, still without it, the rest of the film couldn't really happen. So you can understand why Nolan decided to keep it in, whether or not this conjecture is true. This backwards causal relationship is baked into the movie not just because of the existence of the wormhole, which implies it, but also with a reveal at the climax of the film, which we will return to later. While the existence of the wormhole requires some suspension of disbelief, the stunning visuals of the wormhole do not. In fact, the team behind the film used the theory of general relativity to mathematically model what a real wormhole would look like, which was in fact an impressive breakthrough of mathematical modeling in a bonus scene for patrons and members. We explain how they were able to bring the wormhole and black hole from mass equations to the IMAX screen. Make sure to check it out. Now let's move on to the next piece of science to evaluate after the crew makes their way through the wormhole. They arrive near a supermassive black hole called Gargantua orbiting Gargantua are two promising PL planets that may be able to harbor life. The first one, Miller's planet, is deep in the gravitational well caused by the black hole. Some of the crew go down onto the planet, but within just a short couple of hours have skipped forward decades into the future, much to the misfortune of the crewmate they left behind who had to live out those years at normal speed this part of the film is absolutely plausible. This is gravitational time dilation in action and is thoroughly proven experimentally. Gravitational time dilation is a result of the bending of space-time caused by massive objects. Time itself runs slower when you are gripped by stronger gravity. It even takes place here on Earth between us and our orbiting satellites. So friends, what do you think about this? Write down your views in the comments section and subscribe to our channel.